Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is day 4 of Navrangi Navratri and today's color is royal blue. For today's look, I've not incorporated a lot of royal blue in my makeup. I tried to keep it really low on the tones. I just went with a colored eyeliner because my lenga is really loud on the blue shade. So I'm trying to incorporate all different types of makeup looks in this series and even experimenting with my outfit as much as possible. So I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm having a lot of fun shooting this. If you guys are new to my channel, then you know what to do. You need to hit that subscribe button down below and also click on the bell icon right next to it because for these nine days of Navratri I'm uploading every single day so if you guys want to see how I got this look then please keep on watching okay so starting with the Smashbox pore minimizing primer I'm going to apply a little bit of this in my t-zone so that I make sure I have a nice and smooth base for my foundation for foundation I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Pro filter foundation in the shade 370 warm Taking this on the plume sponge and dabbing it across my face. Make sure you drag everything down your neck and blend everything well into your skin so that you lay a good base for your makeup. For concealer, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD in the shade Medium Beige. I just own two concealers, that's the reason you're only going to see those two. Applying this in the usual areas, not only under my eyes but also over my eyes to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. Then on the bridge of my nose, the forehead, cupid's bow, around the mouth, all the hyperpigmented areas and then to carve out my cheekbones so that I can make my face look chiseled. Blending it all in with the same sponge. Be very careful around your eye area because the skin over there is very sensitive so go really slowly. Once you've blended your foundation, you need to powder your face in place. For that, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Taking this on the same sponge and placing this on all the areas that I put concealer. This powder is very very thin and very finely milled so baking with it does not dry my skin out so I prefer it. After applying it I like to keep it on my skin for maybe 2 minutes and then dust off all the excess powder with an elf powder brush and in this process the rest of the foundation also gets set. For bronzer I'm taking the Colourpop pressed powder bronzer in the shade Rodeo Drive. Taking this on the pack 214 brush uh, which is a nice pointed buffing brush. So I'm going to place this in the usual area that is above the line where I put the concealer to carve out my cheekbones, on my forehead to make my forehead look smaller and on my jawline to make my jawline look more chiseled. For blush, I'm taking the Colourpop Pressed Powder Blush in the shade Tulip to Quit. This is my absolute favourite blush for all dark eyeshadow looks because it goes well with everything. For highlighter, I'm using the Nykaa Beauty Glow Getter Highlighters in the shade Glitterati. Taking the rose gold shade in this on an e.l.f. highlighting brush and then placing it on the high points of my cheeks, on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow to add that glow element to the face. To set my face in place, I'm using the NYX Dewy Finishing Setting Spray and just spritzing it all over my face and picking up any excess product with the same sponge so that all the excess powders get picked up on the sponge and my base looks flawless. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Mini So Eyebrow Pencil in the shade 02 Dark Brown. On the side which has the pomade, I'm just going to uh, fill the bald patches in my eyebrows. And on the other side of the pencil, there's a brush like a spoolie. So I'm going to brush my hairs in place. For my eyes, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm taking this cool toned brown color which is called Pooter. Taking this buffing crease brush by pack, I'm just going to make sure that it's all over my eyelid. There isn't really any neatness or definition needed for this. So after I've buffed that eyeshadow in place, I'm taking the NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner in the shade Sapphire which is a lovely royal blue colour and I'm adding that colour element to my makeup with a really dramatic blue winged eyeliner. So after I'm done with the eyeliner, I'm taking this blue sapphire shade in the palette called Twerk and I'm placing this with the Pack 202 pencil brush on my lower lash line as well as in the inner corner of my eye. And on the other half of the lower lash, I'm using the e.l.f. crease brush with the same shade Pooter which I put in my crease on the lower lash as well and just smoking it out. 
To finish off with the eyes, I'm using the Nykaa Rock the Line Kajal and just placing it on my waterline as well as tight lining with it. So now for the brighter inner corner, I'm taking this shade called Beam in the palette which is one of my favorite brow bone as well as inner corner highlight shades. I'm just taking this shade on an Amazon pencil brush and placing it like you can see. For mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and coating my top as well as bottom lashes with it. For falsies, I'm using the Glomier Beauty Divine Eyelashes. I really like this style for my eye shape because it's very very dense at the bottom and fluffs out really beautifully at the edges. For lipstick, I'm using the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip which is in collaboration with I Love Sarah He and uh, this is the shade Softy which is a lovely brown colour so it will tie the whole look together. To finish this look, since I'm wearing a white shirt and a really heavy lenga, I didn't really want to wear earrings but I wanted to add a choker. This choker is actually my sister's wedding choker so I'm wearing that which we got from Santa Cruz from a shop called Saatchi in Santa Cruz and uh, this shirt is from Only and my lenga is from Aishwarya Studios. I will leave all the details in the description section. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did actually like this video, then please don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to my channel, then you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. And I will see you tomorrow for the next day of Navrangi Navratri. Bye guys. Love you.